The following video is sponsored by MobileMaddenCoins.com. If you're looking for Madden coins on any console or platform, be sure to check out MobileMaddenCoins.com. Use code CLICKWID for a 10% discount. Hey, what is going on guys? Clickwood here, back again, bringing you guys a brand new series here on the channel. We are calling this The Road to Red. Now, basically guys, the concept here is that we want to build a team full of elites, starting from a team full of bronze players. So, you guys see that we're currently actually in the Draft Champions menu, so this is going to be kind of a little bit tough to follow, but as we go along with the series, I think you guys are going to understand it, and I think that you're going to grow to kind of like it. I think it sounds like a fun idea. It's definitely going to be challenging, especially at the beginning, but I want to try and test myself, see if I can actually get some wins here in Madden 17 Ultimate Team and in Draft Champions as well. So basically, like I said, guys, the thing is, is that we're going to start with an all bronze team in Mutt. Now, what we're going to do is we're actually going to start off, though, by going into unranked Draft Champions, and we're going to play a ranked or an unranked Draft champion series. So we're going to play all the games, try and get as many wins as we can. Now, what we're going to do is if we get wins within the unranked draft champion series is that we're going to be able to upgrade our team a little bit okay so zero wins is going to mean no upgrades which means i have to go into the season with all bronze players and try to get wins there now one win is going to mean i'm going to get to upgrade a player so it's going to go from uh, a bronze to a silver for example or uh, if i have a silver i can upgrade it to a gold if i get two wins for example um, so basically guys i could move up if i get four wins which is how many you can get here in ranked draft champions if I get that I'm gonna get four total upgrades so I can pick the positions that I think are the most important ones for me to have uh, good players at. so it's gonna be tough to decide which ones that we can uh, get upgrades at early in the season I, I mean we're gonna have a very bad all bronze squad basically at the beginning um, and unfortunately that's kind of the way that it's gonna go so Hopefully we can get some good wins early and uh, you know, maybe we can get some good luck uh, with the pack that we get at the end as well. Now, once we get into head-to-head -head seasons after the unranked draft, we're actually going to take our team and we're going to run through an entire, you know, season or whatever the hell they're calling it this year. I forget even what it's called. Uh, but basically for each win that we get within that head-to-head -head season, we're actually going to get one pro pack. And then obviously at the very end, we're going to uh, be able to, you know, accumulate all the wins that we've got and get the rewards from that. I think if you get 10 wins, which is going to be almost impossible for me to do with the, the squad that I'll have. Uh, but if you get 10 wins, I think you get like a guaranteed elite player or something like that. So that would be very helpful. And again, guys, the goal here is to create an all elite squad by the end of this. Now, if I lose any games within uh, the head to head season, I actually have to downgrade one of my players. So. So, uh, you know, from an elite to a gold or from a gold to a silver, something like that, I have to make a downgrade on my team. So that's going to be very, very tough on me as well. Hopefully I can keep getting wins and keep upgrading the team. Um, and by the way, guys, once we get to a full elite team, that is going to be the end of the series. Or if after draft champions and after we get through that first season, we have an all bronze squad, then the series is over and we've got to start again as well. So hopefully we can continue, guys. Hopefully we can get all of the elite players that we need to finish this series. Wish me some luck, guys. Um, and again, this is going to be something fun. So I want to hear from you guys in the comment section if you guys are enjoying it. Um, like I said, it might be a little bit difficult to understand in the beginning. But I think once we go through it, I think you guys are going to enjoy it quite a bit. And it should be a lot of fun. So with that said, let's get things started here. Like I said, the first thing that we're going to do is an unranked draft. So we've got to go in here and do that. And this is going to be kind of important for us because when we do our upgrades, the only players that we can upgrade to are ones uh, from the draft champions. Anyway, the only players that we can upgrade to directly are the ones that we get in this draft. So if I pull all golds, for example, I can only upgrade to golds. So, I mean, obviously there's guaranteed legends and things like that, but that that's kind of the idea behind it anyway. So with that said, uh, we've got our first set of coaches here. I think I'm going to go with the uh, Bengals because I've used their playbook before. I, I've used the Cowboys a little bit, but I'm not very good with it. Um, let's see here. The Harbaugh offense, 3-4 defense is nice, but um, I want to go, I think, with the Bengals here. So that's what we're going to do. All right. Very first player in this whole Road to Red series. And we get an Emmett Smith, a Ricky Williams, and a Charles Haley. Oh my goodness, son. Let's go. 
We've got a chance to use Ricky Williams for the first time. We've got to go with Ricky. Emmitt Smith is my favorite player of all time. And of course, I love Charles Haley as a Cowboys fan as well. But I've never had a chance to use this Ricky Williams. So, oh my goodness, we might have to go with the Ricky Williams. And hopefully, hopefully, we can maybe make an upgrade and get ourselves Ricky Williams right off the bat. If we get enough wins to get him, that would be freaking amazing. So, let's go, baby. Starting off with run, Ricky, run. Let's go. All right, second one. So... We've got some speed here at the wide receiver position. We can go with Chris Conley. We can also go with an Andy Dalton. Now, we do already have a gold quarterback, but it is Geno Smith, so that's not a very good player. Um, Chris Conley's a very quick, underrated wide receiver here from Football Outsiders. He does have 91 speed. He is also six foot three. so I think that this is the move for us right now. He might be a really good player for us as we go into our seasons if we can find him, uh, if we can upgrade to him as well. All right, so now we've got an opportunity here to go with another receiver, but I think we kind of got to go quarterback here now. Carson Wentz, this football, or this team of the week card, is a very nice quarterback. Um, he's looking very, very good in his rookie season, just like my boy Dak Prescott is. We've already got a running back, obviously, so we're not going to go there. And wide receiver, I mean, Golden Tate's fine, but he's not anything spectacular. So let's get ourselves a Carson Wentz. All right, next one. We've already got a quarterback, so we're not going to worry about that. Virgil Green's a decent tight end, but I think we've got to start shoring up our offensive line here if we're going to be running the ball a lot with Ricky Williams. So let's start off with Zach Streif, and uh, we'll see what we can get here in some of these other rounds. Next. All right, another quick receiver here with uh, Will Fuller. I think that might be the move here. We already do have a right tackle. I know we can move him over to left tackle if we need to, but Will Fuller is a really good option for us. We could have two pretty damn good receivers here to start things off with Chris Conley and Will Fuller, so I think we're going to go with that. So we might not end up actually having any elite wide receivers, but I think that'll be okay. All right, continuing on here, Everson Griffin, man. He has been an absolute beast this year. Uh, let's see here. TJ McDonald is a good good option. Robert Ayers is an okay option. Let's go with Everson Griffin, though. We got some speed. We need somebody to pressure off that right side, so let's go with him. Hopefully, he can get in the backfield and make some sacks for us. All right, David Amerson's been very, very good this year. Trey Flowers is a solid pick. Whitney Merciless, I'm not going to go with him just because he's too slow. So I think David Amerson's going to be the guy here. Round number eight, Jalen Smith. Might have to be the guy here because he's got such good speed and agility and things like that. He's a really good card to user control, and I user control my middle linebacker typically, so I think that might be the guy. Derek Wolf is a good option, and, and honestly, so is Patrick Chung, but we're going to go with Jalen Smith. I know he's only a 75 overall, but there's a reason that they put him with those other guys because he's a damn good underrated player in this game. So we get another elite option here with Fletcher Cox. Now, the one thing to keep in mind here is that normally you'd want to go with all elites if you can. But the problem is that if I don't get enough upgrades to get an elite, I won't be able to use any of those guys. So I've got to be smart about it. About it. I think Prince of Mukamara might be the right decision here. Oh, man, but he's only got 84 uh, for a man coverage and 80 for his own. That's really, really terrible, to be honest with you. Speed and acceleration is good, and his agility is really good as well. Uh, we've already got a middle linebacker, so we're not going to go there. Fletcher Cox, power move 91, strength in 84 is kind of, it's okay. It's not anything spectacular. You know what? I think we are going to go with a defensive tackle here. I would really like to get Prince of Mukamara or somebody that's a good corner, but I think I'd rather have David Amerson anyway, so I'm probably not going to upgrade to Prince of Mukamara anyway. So we'll go with Fletcher Cox and try and stop the run. All right, next. Uh, Torrey Smith's okay. Brian Tannehill, we don't need him. We could use a decent center. I know running isn't up the middle isn't that overpowered this year, but uh, definitely Jason Kelsey is a good option, so let's go with him. All right. I typically don't draft centers, by the way, in this, but uh, it's, you know, based on the players that we already have, I think he might be the right decision there. Okay, let's see here. DeForest Buckner is a good option. Allen's a good option. Oh, gosh. I don't even know how to pronounce his name. Atachu? Excuse me. Bless me. <laughs> like, I don't know. Uh, we got to get some linebackers rolling in here, though. We do have Mark Barron, who's a good option. We do have Jalen Smith, who's uh, pretty quick himself. So we actually have some decent speed as our outside linebackers right now. So maybe I don't really need to upgrade them. Nate Allen, let's see here. You're six foot one with 85 speed. That actually is pretty damn good. Let's go with Nate Allen. Let's go with Nate Allen. I think that's a good option for us. Uh, and by the way, guys, it doesn't necessarily have to be players that we drafted. It could be like, for example, uh, you know how there's silvers on here. We could upgrade to a silver, for example, if we only get one win. Um, that's kind of what we'll have to do. So uh, because you don't really get silvers for your actual draft players. So hopefully that makes sense. But 
Um, anyway, let's continue on here. Jay Howard could be a good one. I wish that I could get another freaking offensive line like a left tackle. I, again, I know I can put him at left tackle, so that might be the, the obvious move there. Jay Howard, let's see here. Good block shedding. Not very good strength. That's actually really terrible. So we're not going to go with him because his power move and finesse move are atrocious and his strength is atrocious. And yeah, he has good block shed, but like, I just don't think he can get after the quarterback. So let's go with Jack Conklin and we'll probably put him at another offensive lineman position here. So we'll have Streif and Conklin out there. All right, we get an elite round here. Let's see, TJ McDonald, we already drafted a strong safety with Nate Allen. I wish, I mean, we had uh, TJ McDonald earlier. So uh, it would have been nice to be able to get this one earlier so we could have drafted him instead of Nate Allen. But um, let's see here. Diggs is a decent player. That's not a bad one. I, I actually throw to my tight end quite a bit, though. So I think I'm going to go with Gary Barnage because, again, I really throw to my tight ends quite a bit in this year's game. So I'm going to go with him. We probably really need to get uh, some decent players in our secondary, though, and, and quite frankly, some of our defensive line as well. And we land in Adrian Peterson here. Now, normally, I would easily go with Adrian Peterson, but we already have Ricky Williams, so that's an unneeded card for us. We do really want to get another receiver, so we've got Alshon Jeffrey here, and he's got to be the move for us here in this play, uh, in this option here. So we've got Will Fuller now. Alshon Jeffrey and Chris Conley. Those are all really, really good options for us. Now, we can either go with a Benny Logan here as a defensive tackle. Um, so that would actually give us two beastly inside defensive tackles. Or we could go free safety here with Glover Quinn because uh, we really do need a decent free safety, to be completely honest here. And I know uh, Glover Quinn is usually pretty damn good at swatting away those deep balls. So I think he is going to be the move here, which leaves us pretty weak on our defensive line. And our cornerbacks are pretty weak as well. But we at least have good safeties So uh, and you know a couple of decent linebackers. So hopefully we can make that happen. Let's go with Glover Quinn, and we'll see what our 80, our overall is. I think it's going to be an 80 overall here. Let's see here. It looks like it's going to be a 79 overall, but we'll move a couple of guys around, see what we can do, and then we'll get into our gameplay here in the next video, guys. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this first video. If you have any questions about the series, be sure to drop them in the comment section below. Thank you all so much for the support. Hopefully you guys are going to enjoy this series. I think I'm pretty excited about it. I'm going to try and do it at least four or five times a week, so this should be a regular series that you see here on the channel. So thanks again, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, do me a favor, drop a like on it. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. And I'll talk to you guys again soon.